next video is probably going over the configuration right more in detail so there is a video about the overview and i have of course my own workflow in this matter and you can watch the other videos so i have sublime text and inside is the dot config sway folder and everything that's in there actually when you think about it everything starts with the config itself but the config is empty the config says <coughs> go to home dot config sway and the config d so if i want to have the azerty i first move my azerty files to here so this is the only folder that really matters and then you go and have a look it's going to launch all of them i really don't know what is the first one is gonna get might be this one might be others alphabetically don't think a computer would do it something alphabetically but who knows does it matter not really otherwise i would never have launched it like this right so there are some elements that i got from the internet so bits and pieces from from all kind of um, places and really i can't <laughs> know anymore which pieces they were but as you see here the default greeting background user share backgrounds aclex arco wallpaper gpg filled so this line says fill it with can we see that no it's gonna of course because we have a system that is ruled by variety and variety is actually ruled by wallhaven by attack abstract minimal space and sci-fi and it starts when the computer starts every five minutes i have a new wallpaper change wallpaper on start so this takes control over my desktop but if we have Arclix b iso we start installing then of course we need to have something something nice to greet people and this is the default um, kind of this point in time right it's a uh, grayish bluish and, and and black as background an abstract design and then it keeps on adding elements so you, you can actually uh, go start and, exp and, and and cut all these things in pieces but basically guys it just took over what i found online as a line and they're setting the environments display wayland display sway sock and all that xtg current desktop that's what we've done also with a certain package that's etc profile d and this actually comes from ubuntu was it was it let's see ubuntu sway coming from right not ubuntu itself but ubuntu sway this is how they set it there and i thought hey that's a good idea so we have a package that is setting the variables in wayland and if we're on hyperland it will have the name hyperland.sh and if we're on sway it will have the name sway.sh and in this file we just set the things that are important for sway and all the rest exactly the same as this one so I can keep track of the variables and you see in the coloring that this is the only one used in Sway and all the rest is Wayland all real stuff so the idea is here to have a file concerning Wayland and then the desktop this one all the variables are here but are not used and everything is gray it's not used okay so that's concerning this all of this is set as well via packages and here i just kept it in as uh, it came from i don't know where it came from right sources maybe i'll find it out in the videos later on so the other things are executing if you have a tiling window manager you always need to have something um so the poll kits now i would say the only the thing i always do is of course and then i'll probably say oh eric sure forgot again right arch wiki read that's why we're here we want to learn 
and there is a whole encyclopedia out there it's called the arch wiki and then you read what's the pull kit and there are different kind of pull kits often we choose for this one on the 35 plus desktops that we have i think we've always used this one except on plasma on plasma we use the kde agent obviously right and probably yeah um yeah i think so <laughs> right 35 desktops in my brain ah so read what is a policy what do we use it for basically if the desktop wants to ask the password for root that's the pop-up that's that's policy okay uh, otherwise you get an error and then uh, then people say hey, i got this error and you forgot to install a pull kit agency agent better gnome or anything else so this was desktop notifications you saw that in a previous video of sway we use auto tiling it says auto tiling and so auto tiling is there right it's an application that we have and it's going to be execute basically if you want to know more it's always the same thing man auto tiling and then they say there is no manual entry for auto tiling that's your cue to say auto tiling help right and then you see aha debug workspaces and so on and you learn more auto tiling workspaces eight voila basically it tells the system what to do if i open another one or what to do if i open another one another one another one another one another one right this is fibonacci thing is it called like that right so quit 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 done this is set by default it's an application pseudo pacman minus s auto tiling nothing to change nothing to play around with it's just an application then the WL Sunset is not installed. You can install it if you want to. I mentioned in the other video. Everything that's inside the auto start is started. In Tiling Winner Managers, nothing starts from its own, right? If you have something inside here in the auto start, you have to tell it to auto start. And DEX is a great tool to say, go and fetch everything in auto start and go fetch everything in config auto start and go launch it clipman uh, is not installed and wpl paste i don't think it's installed as well so if you would like to get clip and, and copy and paste stuff which i think i can do as well let's see Control c and Control v voila so if you want to have a some kind of tool for it fine the gnome keyring to well to save things this is probably also one gnome keyring that would i i would send you to super uh, super two yes super two control alt f key bindings are important or wiki gnome keyring right i would send you here and then you say okay go read what is a gnome keyring collection of component components in gnome that store secrets passwords keys certificates and so on and make them available to applications so okay all right okay maybe i need this let's kill this one let's kill that one and this is for touchpads gestures or laptop thingies i believe i left this in i don't know why again <laughs> and then nwg drawer that's actually this one if i remember correctly so there are many applications to start something to menu applications and this is one of them so yay nwg drawer is actually something nice and there is the bin version which is easier to install much faster to install and to build for me so that's the one that we have and we have Arch Linux configuration for it. So application configuration. And now we go further and WG drawer bin. We can, for instance, do panic tray and put it an asterisk, not an asterisk, an ampersand behind it. And we get this uh, sign. No, there's no sign. So 
he's not present. Pamek Trey is not working on Wayland. So, too bad. Super D, Pamek. Like this. What I wanted to show is the NWG draw, right? And you go and learn what is this all about. So there's a link, and I hope that it's open somewhere else. NWG from Piotr. So Piotr, let's have a look. Maybe we see an image. I think I just saw Ukraine there mentioned somewhere. Anyway, this is the look. There is the shell, there is the sway, there are launches, menu. Lots of this particular GitHub is on our repo, ready to install, ready to experiment further with it, because we kind of like it. Super D. Okay. Super G. That's what can we do with Super D, with this NWG drawer? Lots of things, or not? Well, we have to look for it. So let's have this look. Mm -hmm. So he wants to execute this. I think we need to go outside our little haven of sway. So we have another folder, NWG drawer. How do I know these things? Again, let's go to desktop number three. Panic, right? Ah, now we can see you here. So the PAMIC manager. So that is a super shift D, the D menu. And I was going to go to Sway. How do we know where all the configs are? We give you an article like Sway Git files. So the Sway folder, check, 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 check. Sway, 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 all Sway and nothing but Sway. Okay. Then we have another config and W. G. You, you see, we have a lot of <laughs> this particular person, right? So have a look at it. Um, drawer bin is the one we want. That's one, but I guess maybe like this. Yeah. So here is the configuration for Archilex. And where is it? Ah, uh, in the config. Just one drawer, CSS, that's it. So this is how you add the workflow. How do you figure out how all of this works? This is how it's done. And we were here and we want to look at this one. So this is the Sway folder. Drop the folder in here and then have a look. Oh, so Super D can be changed with this. Yes. Right? The buttons, the images, entry, background color. I do believe I've made it a little bit darker. So if we take six, I don't know if we see it immediately. Super D. I don't know. Don't think so. Let's take two. And I did a typo there. Two. Ah, like this then. I think that's correct. Save super D. No, so we need to actually stop everything and, and restart everything to actually see this. Too bad. But this is where you set everything: the drawer, CSS, background color. Okay, something new that we've learned, and we're actually busy with how to start. Just that maybe it's a good time to stop here and tackle another application another configuration here the ones that matter not explain everything in single detail but the ones that matter okay stopping with the auto start applications